Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're outside of Cleburne, Texas today. We're going to check out Cleburne State Park. Hey Logan and Mikey, good morning. Roll my intro. Well, guys, it was a beautiful drive to get up here to Cleburne State Park. The sun's out. I'm looking forward to checking out the park and sharing it with you guys. 13 miles of hiking and mountain bike trails. 528 acres. Hmm. Camping with water, electric, and sewer. Swimming. There's supposed to be a sandy beach here. Bird watching, boating, fishing. What can you catch when you go fishing here? Channel catfish, flathead catfish, largemouth bass, white bass, sunfish, and crappie. And uh, supposed to have some deer in the park here as well as raccoons. That is definitely a Civilian Conservation Corps bridge. It's only open to foot traffic now, but... When it was built, that was the bridge to get across the creek here. Look at the detail on that. That's just amazing. I'm always impressed by the work that the CCC did around the country on our park systems. Not much water today, but I bet you that has stood up to quite some flooding over the years. Lots of hills. A little roller coaster ride throughout the park, which is kind of neat. Most of the hills here are white limestone. And the trees are in groves of elk, elm, mesquite, cedar, and red bud. There's an earthen dam here that holds uh, spring water. Ah, wow, that's pretty neat. 116 acre spring fed lake. And the water here is clear. I've already looked at it a few times. Give you a little view from the top of the crest here. Real, real close to uh, Cleburne, Texas. In case you need to get some supplies. There was actually a restaurant right outside the park entrance. I believe it was called the Country Kitchen. I just drove by and the sign said... Burgers, fries, tacos, you know, good old home country cooking. <laughs> There's the Love Shack. I'm going to let her rest a little bit. Give you guys a view. A little bit of a, of a breeze today, which is nice. Feels great, but plays havoc with the microphone. And that would be a nice tumble for me down the hill. Now that would be a video, me going head over heels down the hill. That would be funny. Speaking of things that aren't funny, did you hear about the chicken farmer who went bankrupt? No? Yeah. He just couldn't make hens meat. Yep. Yep, dad joke. All right, love shack. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here before they turn on us. And as always, no matter where I go, I'm going to shoot right into the sunshine. It's a pretty lake. There is a little uh, pier I'm looking at on the map. So let's go check that out. This is where I met Paul. Paul from Cleburne. He rolled uh, the intro the other day. Very nice to meet you, Paul. I want to thank my buddy Drew, who gave me a very generous gift, and that went right in the gas tank. And I also want to thank Betty, who sent me a gift. And Betty, thank you very much, also right in the gas tank. I appreciate you guys. That's going to get me around uh, to some of these 
towns that we all want to see and uh, I'm checking out the state parks as I go trying not to make it all state park videos but there are a lot of interesting towns around here yeah what am I looking at wind is definitely picking up but it is pretty and in this whole section there was a young lady in a kayak Paul is fishing back there on the right and uh, me so a state park during the week it's a pretty good deal a lot less people especially now that the schools have started back up again had a really nice park ranger pick out a spot for me so we'll see uh, we'll see how he did they have a lot of information here. They even gave me their rates, which is neat. The daily fear, uh, fee here is six bucks a day. I have a Texas Park Pass, so I don't have to pay any daily rate. There's the Love Shack again. She's been waiting for me patiently. This would be a good spot to have my little picnic for the day right here. Isn't that beautiful? Just nice and relaxing. It looks like... Uh, for an RV... 20 to $28 a night... Depending on if you want... Sewer and water and electricity... And all that kind of fun stuff. Pretty neat. You can tell this is a, an older park. But this is the road my site is on. And uh, there's no restroom right in this area. And the ranger asked me if that was a problem. Did I want something right by the restroom? And I just wanted something quiet. Since I am a self-contained mobile unit, you know. But if I needed to go to the restroom, I would come down here, go across that bridge, and the restroom's kind of in the other section. And it's a pretty good-sized building. It looks new. So, uh, or I could also just drive the, the truck over in the morning, grab a shower. So, there's that. Quiet time here is 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., and uh, that is pretty standard in most of the state parks, at least Texas state parks. There's some uh, Civilian Conservation Corps work. Put it in a little trench there for the excess water to run off during the rainy season. Speed limit in the parks, 20 miles an hour, and that's why I'm going 8. <laughs> try to show you some of the different sections and I'm pretty sure they like this is the uh, the older part of the park and then they did some add-on roads because some uh, some of the roads just look more modern as far as giving you more room for your RV and your trailer all pets on a leash don't gather firewood no public consumption of alcohol no firearms Whoops. <laughs> it is not permitted to disturb, take, or deface any soil, rocks, and or fossils, or any kind of plants. This includes blue bonnets and other wild flowers. Hmm. No jet skis, no ATVs, no UTVs, no golf cart, no dirt bikes. No paintball guns, no bow and arrows, no slingshots, and no metal detectors. Mountain and road bicycles are permitted. Hmm. That's neat. They do have a lot of dumpsters kind of all over the place to put your trash in, so that's good. They had an interesting sign up at the ranger station. Uh, apparently the raccoons here are really good 
at getting in the back of your truck and eating all your food and opening your cooler. And they have learned to open the car doors. So you have to lock your vehicles at night. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, nature has adapted, hasn't it? Well, guys, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for riding today. We're going to go find some small towns to look at. Thanks for watching, everyone.